In this example, we're asked to determine the sine of the slope of the tangent line at the points on the graph. Let's begin by sketching the tangent lines to the graph at points A, B, and C. Remember, a tangent line is a line that touches the graph at a point without crossing over it. We can also think of a tangent line as a linear approximation of the function at a given point. So the tangent line at point A would look like this. The tangent line at point B would look like this. And the tangent line at point C would look like this. So notice how the tangent line at point A is going downhill from left to right, which indicates the slope of the tangent line is negative. So if we use m to represent the slope of the tangent line, we could say at point A, the slope m is less than zero, which means the slope is negative. Now looking at the tangent line at point B, notice how from left to right, the line is going uphill, which means the slope is positive. So below at point B, we'll say the slope m is greater than zero, which again means the slope is positive. And then at point C, we have a horizontal tangent line. Horizontal lines always have a slope of zero. Notice from left to right, the graph does not go up or down. It stays constant, which means the slope is zero. So at point C, we'll say the slope m equals zero. And that's all they're asking for for this question. I hope you found this helpful. <clears throat>